to create a match, either click the Match Appointments link or the Add Match icon on the left-hand navigation menu. Season will default for you and you can select your role from the drop-down and the match date from the date selection pane. You will then be able to select the competition type and the League or League Cup competition from the text field below. You will need to enter at least three characters for the search to return the league name as it is in the FA systems, including sponsor prefixes if applicable. You will then be able to select the division within the league should you know it, which will then populate both the home and away club. Once you have populated each field, you can select Save Details to complete the match creation process. This will then take you to the referee's report where you'll be able to select if the game was abandoned or if there were no cautions, sendings off or misconduct in the match. In this example, I am choosing to add a caution which will then take me through to the main cautions page. Here I can select Team, Player, caution code and FA code if applicable. Once I click to add the caution it will populate below the selection fields and allow me to add any additional cautions that I may wish to. If I'm adding multiple cautions it's advisable to save as I go to avoid losing any data. Each addition will be counted in the main caution header box and I will also be able to remove any cautions that I've added. My cautions will only be finalised once I've selected save cautions. Once saved I will then be able to amend any names against any cautions. From here I'm going to select the main dismissals box which will allow me to add any send offs from my match. Here I can select the team, player, law 12 section and any details for this dismissal. Selecting to add dismissal will place the record underneath the selection fields. I am then able to add any further dismissals required. I can choose to remove any dismissal at any time. As with cautions, the main dismissals box will count the number of records saved. Once I'm happy with the submissions I've made, I can click back to summary to return to the main referees report. Here I am able to view the report summary, select whether the game was abandoned and finally submit the discipline report. The system will confirm my submission and provide a link for me to return to the referee dashboard. My submission will then show on the referee dashboard.